Okay, so the next um, topic that we're going to discuss is why do we need to study statistics? So given even after all the applications, so why do we need to study it? Um, among other reasons, there are five most important um, reasons why we need to study statistics. Um, of course, this is not exhaustive. There are still more um, reasons why. Okay, but out of all those many reasons, we try to pick up the most important ones. So number one, we study statistics to be able to effectively conduct research. And that goes to number one because uh, among the other reasons why we study it, this is the most practical, this is the most realistic. Number two, to be able to read journals. Um, when we conduct research, we need to read um, literature regarding the research that we'll be doing. So, um, hence, um, enough ideas or um, self-concept with uh, statistics will teach you or is uh, one thing that you want should equip thyself so that you will be able to read journals, the results of that journals, and among others. Number three, to further develop critical and analytic thinking skills. Number four, to be able to, uh, to be rather an informed consumer. And number five, to know when you need to hire a statistician. So let's get through them one by one, shall we? Of course, let's start with number one right here, to be able to effectively conduct research. So without the use of statistics, it would be very difficult or almost impossible to uh, make decisions based on the data you have collected for your research paper. So um, statistics provides us with a tool, okay? Uh, actually, statistics is a data analysis tool that will help you in building up and creating your own research um, with which to make an educated decision, not decisions based on guesses or based on gut feel, but with statistics, we create decisions based on the available data at hand. Although you may never plan to be to, to get in yourself involved in research, research will find its way in your life. Like for example, if you uh, pursue your graduate school, one needs enough research for that. And of course, um, you need internal research in this industry, especially in psychological statistics. Um, one needs um, continuous research to be at par with the field. We know um, psychology is dynamic and it involves, you know, um, so one needs to be equipped with statistics. Okay? And one seldom needs to do research regarding um, in, in, uh, in psychology. Number two, to be able to read journals. Um, most technical journals you will read contain some form of statistics. The ability to extract the meaning from those results and discussions in that journal uh, and the ability to critically evaluate research from a point of view of statistics um, is right now a fundamental skill. Okay, We want to make that clear, bolded right here, fundamental skill. Okay, That will enhance your knowledge and understanding in related coursework. Okay, especially us becoming, or you, you yourself becoming a psychologist in the future or in the psychology field, you will need to know how to read uh, journals in order you to be um, updated of the latest uh, trends and issues in psychology. Number three, to further develop critical and analytic thinking skills. So that, that, uh, that goes with studying statistics and with anything with numbers, right? To do well in statistics, one must develop the use of formal logical thinking abilities and both high-level and creative uh, skills, thinking skills. Number four, to be an informed consumer. So like in any other tool, statistics is used and misused. Okay, we want to make that clear. So we must be able to, you know, ourselves as um, with enough knowledge with statistics, we should be able to evaluate, judge, rate, if those data are indeed true or not, just by checking on if the proper statistics are being followed. So if you know some of the basic statistical concepts, you will be, you will be in a better position to evaluate, rate, and judge um, the information you have been given. And number five, um, to know when you need to hire a statistician. Okay? Um, conducting research 
is time consuming and expensive. Um, not only in money, expensive in in your efforts, expensive in your um, in your in your well, years time, among other things. Um, if you are um, over your statistical head, it doesn't make sense to risk the project, especially if if you have not enough, you don't have enough um, um, idea or um, specialization in that kind of statistics. We know that statistics is a vast field. It's pretty much a big field of, of, of science or, or discipline as itself. Um, we don't need to risk an entire project by attempting to do it ourselves if we know within ourselves that we cannot um, we cannot uh, deal with it hence um, when you have basic knowledge with statistics you yourself will understand when I need help and when uh, when which parts can I do on my own okay so just a recap this are the topics or the content of this video right here it's quite a short video um, number one, why do or rather why do we need to study statistics? One, to be able to effectively conduct research. Two, to be able to read journals. Three, to further develop critical and analytic thinking skills. Four, to be an informed consumer. And five, to know when we need to hire a statistician. So that ends my video of today. Um, again, our topic is why study statistics and. Um, Thank you very much.